So, Fiona, um, how are you? I mean, how are you feeling? Oh, my stomach's fine. Yeah. Great. Great. I must still be a bit balmy, though. <laughs> this kind of thing doesn't go away overnight, does it? <laughs> <laughs> no. <clears throat> no. No. If Mum was going to get Will to marry her, she'd have to quit making jokes like that. At least she looked good. I made her put on that nice hairy jumper and those earrings she got sent from a friend that went to Zimbabwe. The kid seemed to think this was some kind of date. As for his mum, she was clearly insane and appeared to be wearing some kind of Yeti costume. This had better be a quick one. We were definitely not ordering starters. I'll start um, with the artichoke, please. Then I'll have a mushroom omelette with fries and a Coke. I'll have the, the vegetable platter. We're vegetarians. I'd never have guessed. Um, steak sandwich, please, mate. This was going really well. I wondered if we were going to move into Will's place or move into some place new. I heard he sang a good song. I heard he had a star. I knew, of course, that the song couldn't last forever, that I'd soon be at home, tucked up in bed. I knew it, but I couldn't feel it. I must have been insane. All I'd wanted was a date with Susie, and this was my punishment. The worst part was when they closed their eyes. Come and sing with us, Will. Um, you know what? I should really get going. Thanks. That's the problem with charity. You have to mean things. You have to mean things to help people. Like the time I volunteered to help out at a soup kitchen.